Well, I'll be. Look at this, my friends. I couldn't believe it when it came up for sale on Facebook. There is an original Crazy Joe trailer. The only car hauler trailer he ever did. This is handmade, all metal framing. It's got the front, uh, the grill on the front there. Let's get a good above shot here. The only one he ever made because it was so challenging to make as far as I understand. But when I saw it come up for sale on Facebook, I had to gobble it up right away. I bet Crazy Joe will be happy to see that I have this because this is something I can use. Now, many people might remember I actually had the second uh, Crazy Joe trailer ever made. It was a wooden deck and I actually used it on a very famous film I used with Overkill and uh, Rescue's Pinky. And uh, I ended up giving that away to a super fan who's still a huge supporter of the show today in Sweden. Now it's here to stay. It's at its final resting place. Let's load it up and get on the, on the, on the muddy trail. So here comes my 6x6. Six I love this Mercedes. It is an absolute beast. It can side trail so well just because of its uh, um, center of gravity and the triple axles give it a huge amount of twist in that frame. Now here is the trailer. This is the beauty thing about this trailer. Watch this. Here I'll get in nice and close so you can see. Just get right up on the trailer itself. Loading kings. So cool. Okay, so now I can basically turn that off and use those top straps to strap the truck in. I should have taken the straps off first, but you guys get what's going on here. The Bronco with huge 2.2 size tires on there, stock engine in there, or stock motor, I should say, for all the people that are sticklers about all those semantics. But uh, even though it's a stock pinion, those huge tires are still going to pull this thing in low gear. Look at the ride height, hey? It's almost perfect, I'd say. Hey, everything is secured. We'll start up the Bronco. I've got an S Dual uh, sound kit in here from Sense Innovations. I'll leave a link to uh, one on Amazon if you want to check it out in the video description box down below. Same with links to these trucks if you want to look at them and their pricing. Pricing's always different, of course, because of currency and where you're from. The Bronco's on its way. Tons of mosquitoes out today. It has been raining like crazy. Oh, look at this. Even the gully, is the, basically the road's washed away. We can even straddle it with the trailer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at that. I'm not in lock, so I got one wheel just spinning. Let's lock it up in low gear. Get the front to start pulling. Oh, I took a bad angle, but I might be able to pull this off. As long as I keep it on the high spot right here. Hard to see in the grass. Oh, the grass makes it slippery. Oh, friggin' carburetor. Okay, here we go. Dude, that motor shaft doing tons of work. Wanting to pull right here. Unfortunately, we are sunk down deep in the grass. Yeah, right there, I'm wedged. Back it off nice and slow. This 6x6 can basically handle anything. It's exceptionally capable. Now the Bronco should be able to pull out of here even though it's idling a little high. Yeah, I got myself wedged pretty good. Got 
Come on, we got way less weight now. There it is, there it is. That's what I get for trying to straddle with a trailer. It has been done though. Right, right there. Okay, let's reload the 6x6. Right through, oh, is this gonna be too high on this side? I wonder, is there such a thing? When loading a trailer, yes, but not today. Good, ready to rock and roll. Let's tie it down. Pump here. Everything's getting pretty soft, that's too bad. I'm gonna have to kick it into high gear. Ooh. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. When in doubt, throttle out. Looks like the road got washed out. No matter, as long as I can turn it around. Oh, look at those trailer tires. <laughs> They're like mud meatballs. That's okay, I just need to get the trailer turned around. We can launch the 6x6 properly. So slick since the rain came in. So rages on the debate, sound kit or no sound kit. And uh, I think it's kind of a personal choice. Whatever you want to do in the hobby is up to you. And uh, if you find a sound kit that suits your truck, I think that's the way to go. Jeez, what, I've been lazy here? It's like a jungle around here. Ah, it's just been so much rain, that's all. Brushed stock motor. That was ripping it on a three cell, but they don't call it a crawler, so it goes fast. Exceptionally capable. You guys have maybe seen this on my channel when I take it onto my rock pile. And uh, it just totally annihilates it. To go anywhere kind of truck, even though it's electric. You still want to maintain the bearings. When you do water runs like this, get in there, try to rinse it out as best as possible before you put it away, or else next time you come back to a truck that's waterproof, you may come back to a truck that's kind of seized or rusted because of the bearings weren't maintained, or the motor wasn't rinsed out properly. Let's take this in and around here where it's all kind of, I've been ripping it up in here. I was gonna tear this up for a monster truck course and then the rain started and of course you can't get a big heavy 8,000 pound skid steer in here. Beautiful. If you want, guys wanna see the, the uh, Bronco mudding, I did that with uh, Project Overkill 2020. I'll link that in the info bubble. You can check it out if you wanna look at that. That's another sound versus no sound video. Look at this, this is what I mean about side hilling. Like with the extra axle, it just gives you so much more ability where the normal truck would roll over in a 110 scale electric. This one you're able just to totally manipulate how you drive.
in low gear. Oh, I saw a puff of smoke. Those stock trends or those stock motors, they always put out so much on these. Let's gear up. Let's see if we can get a proper smoke show because I got to upgrade this motor anyway. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Let's get it over the jump. Let's see if we got this here. Yeah. Slow mo, that would look killer. Almost rolling it. Good two wheel driving. Or I should say three wheel. Over I go. Can I get out of it? I would have to have a lot more power to get. Oh, there it is. She's smoking. If only flipping over a six by six were that easy. Let's get her in the water. That motor's working hard. Now technically hanging over the front like that I don't think would be legal, but since I'm on private property, anything goes. Let's go. My dog would love to eat the truck if she had an opportunity. Oh, come on. Even with mud packed tires. <laughs> Good girl, Raven. And if the motor is kaput, I've put it through a ton of uh, runs before this. I wouldn't be surprised. Cost me $20 to fix it. Still made for an awesome RC adventure. The Bronco powering through. Oh! Oh! Did we smoke two motors? Yeah, I see a fire. <laughs> So close. That's what you get with big gears though. If anything, you can chop, chalk this up to an experienced run where you can see that ultra sticky clay mud will pack up on your tires. The more weight you put onto a stock motor like this, the more chances you're gonna have uh, blowing the motor out or having to replace it in the, in the future, which, which really isn't a big deal. If you're in the hobby, you know that already. Let's go get these rinsed out. Water on. Duh, just have it. What do you see, Raven? <laughs> Is it your favorite thing ever? <laughs> I gave her a bath yesterday. She'll need another one today. Every day. <laughs> All right, let's start rinsing these babies off. That truck weighs twice as much as it should when I picked it up. That clay I have here is just so sticky, but when it's dry, it just turns to powder. 
it's a killer on two-speed transmissions of any kind. And with huge tires, unless you have a super small pinion gear, you're going to expect heat in the motor. On today's lesson of the hobby, if you're playing in mud, expect these problems to happen if you don't gear properly. <laughs> yeah, all that mud, that's crazy on the back tire. Okay, the big moment. Let's lift it off there. Beautiful. Now let's leave it plugged in actually. Same with this fella. Look at all the dirt on there. Completely soaked. But once the mud's off, we can dry it and test the damage. Alright, when all is said and done, I wanted to make sure to give the new Crazy Joe trailer a proper christening. And if I can use my imagination properly, I can hear a fuck yeah buddy in the background so I know I did it right. A couple of blown motors is not a big deal. These motors only cost about $20 each. Plus I have a Hobbywing uh, FOC, the Axe 2700 censored uh, uh, brushless waterproof motor and ESC combo I want to put into the 6x6. And of course, I'll just put another 540 can uh, into the Bronco because this thing has a lot of grunt. That's my own fault, but I love to put on a good smoke show for our audience. Hopefully you've enjoyed the show today, my friends. Here is a good look at the combo for one last time until our next episode. And we will see you next time on RC Adventures. Drop me a like click if you like the video. And uh, hopefully you get outside and have fun with RC. Bye.